Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today I'm in the studio reviewing the Piccolo 3D enamel gels. These are a plastic type of non-toxic cool set gels and today we're going to see exactly how they work. Let's take a look. Okay, so Piccolo 3D enamel gels are a plastic, air dry, acid free, acrylic, non-tacky type of gel. And um, these are the ones I've been <clears throat> playing with and using, just to give you an idea. By the way, it doesn't have an odor, which I find great. And you can see I can just extrude it right from this nice little tip. So um, it domes immediately, which is nice. Uh, it's not a super dome like a pearl pen, but it does hold its shape. It sinks just a little bit <clears throat> when it dries. So let me show you a little color swatch here. Of some of the colors I got, this isn't inclusive of all the colors, but it gives you a good representation. I like that, again, notice how um, it does have a little bit of doming. You can see from the light color there. And then I just kind of spread it out with my finger so you could see how it really is an opaque color. And then if you spread it out, you can get more translucent effects. So I like this. If you apply it right from the bottle, it's gonna be nice and opaque. If you apply it with the paintbrush, it's gonna be more transparent and translucent. So there are different colors, including a black, and then there is also a white. So let me show you, this is the um, titanium white. I hit it with the heat gun, and that's why it kind of imploded a little bit. But the white is a true white. This is the, the one called Glass Teak. So it is kind of like a finishing glaze or a top coat. Um, it is completely clear. So let me show you some of the things that I tried out. The first thing I'm going to show you is actually a piece that I did as part of a different review uh, with the UV curing resin. But I added layers of the 3D enamel gel and uh, over a stamped image. And you can kind of see into it a little bit, a little bit of luminosity. Um, but yeah, so it, it worked really well. It didn't peel off and then I covered it with the um, and UV resin. So that's one piece. Here are just some of these little cardboard shapes or chipboard shapes that they sent me, which you can kind of see the difference. I did a little bit of color mixing. So here's just the two colors. It's so pretty. It dries very glossy and I wouldn't call it dimensional, but you can see there's a little bit of shine and doming there. You see that? So it's actually got a little bit of body to it when it dries. So there's one. I did a little bit of color mixing here. Here is just the blue. So you can see how opaque it is. That's what it started off as. And then here's a comparison then of the white and the clear. So this is the glass teak. It's just a clear topping, kind of like your glossy accents. But then here is the white. Really pretty, really opaque. Yay! Oh. And then here is one that I actually put a layer of Glastique over the two colors, kind of as a top coat, kind of like that. See, pretty. I added it to a button just to see how it would do on the plastic surface. And um, there's no immediate lifting. I think it could get a little bit of use uh, and it would not necessarily peel up. Now, if you go after it with your thumbnail, it may be a different option. Here's a piece I did on metal. This is a bit of strainer actually. And um, yeah, actually if I go after it with the thumbnail, you can see it will lift. So, because it's plastic and it's on metal and you know, it, but if you would want to make sure this doesn't come off, add a layer of the UV curing resin on top. Here's one of those chipboard pieces and I did the, uh, I put the black coloring on top. And again, you can see how there's a little bit of translucency. It actually does show through the brown a wee little bit. Um, so just be aware that it, when it dries sometimes there is a little bit of show through. Now this is the piece I like. So this is the back side of the little locket and there it is with the 3D enamel colors. Really pretty, kind of an art deco look. Really impressed with this and again if I want it to be permanent I might put a little bit of resin over the top of it. So these are fun. Um, you know, I feel like I'm underachieving here with these. Like, there are a lot of things to do with these that I haven't even quite thought of yet. So, hey, if you have an idea of a way to use these 3D enamel gels, I would love to hear it. Leave me a comment because I have them to play with and I'm just, 
I would love some more ideas because they're really cool. And like I said, air dry, beautiful colors. I don't know. Give me ideas. So thank you so much for watching this little overview of the Piccolo 3D enamel gels. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And we would love it, love it if you subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching and have a crafty day.